tail of the tape, Sean. Pretty close, all except for right there on the bottom. Six foot two versus five foot eight. A huge height and reach advantage for John God's Warrior Marquez and a big experience advantage. Well, eight and five versus three and zero. Oh. But Trent Boudreau, as we said, don't let three and zero oh fool you. Unblemished as a fighter, but a long time track record as a martial artist. We're going to turn over to Blake Chadwick for our amateur main event for the vacant 170 pound championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the following bout is brought to you by Elliot Eldorado and Unconquered Promotions. It is the amateur main event. And it is for the vacant XFN amateur welterweight championship. Introducing first in the blue corner, standing at six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, with a record of nine wins and five losses. He is fighting out of the Black Zillions in Pompano Beach, Florida, and representing the Jesus team, he is God's warrior, Sean Marquez. The shoulder shimmy ends the pre-fight ritual for Marquez. And his opponent the in the red corner, standing at five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in. At 170 I think, pounds. I think the punch to the with a record for Marquez of dropped three the feet. wins and zero losses. Fighting out of American Top Team in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. He is Iron Trent Mike Cardosa draws the assignment for tonight's 170 pound vacant welterweight title fight between John Marquez and Iron Trent Boudreau. Salute your shorts, Captain America. I think the punch to the ground actually from Marquez during his pre-fight ritual knocked out the feed. Round number one underway. Long touch of the gloves from Marquez. Circling, Boudreau with that head movement, that, uh, that Iron Mike Tyson style, uh, hands, body. Marquez, the long-range sniper on the outside, out of range for Boudreaux's kick. That's going to be, that's, that's, oh. Nice kick. Yeah, Boudreaux seemed to duck right into that one. Yeah, that dippy-divey head movement that works very well for boxers is not going to be to his favor with Marquez's wild kicks and knees that he throws. Nice yeah, body and kick and a good job of maintaining range. his range. Oh, but here we may see once again, we always say, but sometimes Boudreau shows off the striking, forgetting he's got a seven-year jiu-jitsu pedigree. Now, a the, slip and taking advantage of it. Yeah, and, for, and again. Learn, learning as he grows, growing as he learns. And Marquez, Marquez used, back up to his feet and nice having none of it, very nice. Training training uh, consistently with uh, with uh, Polish Polish power, Mike Zikowski. Um, no surprise there that he uh, actually has been working on the uh, the wrestling and yeah, counter wrestling. The, the new Black Zillions, uh, the new form of Black Zillion's team and are building, building with the amateurs from what uh, what I can I can gather, Blake. It's not the old Black Zillion's team that, uh, oh. Nice kick there and another good take now from Boudreaux. Did he take that in the gut? He looks to be okay. Yeah, he looks to be okay on that, wow. Lucky, because that was. Uh, that made some noise. Yeah, it did. That could have that could have been a game changer. Nice underhook there. I love the way Marquez is using his. Uh, butterflies. His butterflies. No. Boudreaux on the neck now. Marquez doing a good job splitting the hands. Boudreaux kind of, but once again, that physicality of the 19-year-old Boudreaux just bullying Marquez over to his back again. The physicality of the 19-year-old. I know Listen what I said. Listen to what you just said. I know. I know. I heard it as I said it. Now settling into half guard here is Boudreaux. A minute left. Marquez has not yeah. been an easy one to hold down so yeah, far. Yeah, and, and those long-range guys on the ground are hard to deal with. Especially, and, and Marquez isn't, isn't you know, a slouch. He's got some strength to him, so it's... it's yeah. Is that like, a Kimura locked yeah, look, up there? No, nope. it looks like he's working for it. But Marquez, once again, feeding the head in to get back up. Boudreau had some cupping therapy done. Look at his back. Yeah. I've had that done. Not a big uh, fan. Yeah? I'll take it or leave it myself. 
Now Marquez's feet on the cage, looking to reverse, and he does just that. But Boudreaux on him. Was that a drop that, there? That was, Hit him with a big yeah. right hook. Nope, Marquez back up and covering, goes for a tie clinch, throwing some knees. Marquez is in this Mar fight. Yeah, for sure. Nice job of turning in there with Marquez doing the MC Hammer running man with those knees. Beautiful. Yeah, Boudreaux now addressing that clinch, nice. taking it more seriously. And the round ends with Marquez with a late round rally. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a fight. And man, I am impressed by Marquez's ability to get up off the ground. For sure. Here we go, round number two. Both guys look fresh as daisies. Feeling each other out. Neither got Marquez not too not too keen on uh, throwing something for Boudreaux to catch. Boudreaux not too keen on rushing into another one of those spinning back kicks to the belly, I think. Overhand right into the clinch. Good job. Good job there. And finishes the takedown. Does Boudreaux just scoring? Just scoring. That's exactly it. Marquez doing the right thing, making space. Oh. Pushing down, pushing the head away. Yes, yep, yep. But now sucking in the hips, off the butt, off the ground. Is Boudreaux pulling it in, doing a good job? Very, Very nice, good job getting the back off the cage. Very savvy veteran move by the 19-year-old. By the 19-year-old. <laughs> Marquez's feet to the cage again. This is how he got away last time. Boudreaux having none of it. Good yeah. job of floating around yeah, to the back. Sure. I do not like that, Blake, but Trent, Trent just turned to he, his back. Yeah, but without having the control. Yeah. This, this just, he just kind of uh, yeah. sailed under a lucky star on that uh, one. Well, he doesn't have the same control he would have if he would have thrown the hooks in before pulling into his back. Yeah. It's not an ideal position still. Marquez is throwing some strikes there. His neck, uh, head's a little high, though, as Marquez is. Yeah, whenever I teach my guys to take the back, I said, we got to be like little monkeys. There's got to be no no daylight between our oh our chest and their back when we take their back. Now, sternum to spine, hands locked, or else you do not have his back, says Cole Miller. Yeah, that's when I uh, pull out the pool noodle and whack them when they do something like that. Yeah, no, nothing, very good. nothing wrong with a little. Uh, one one hook in and the Garcia back control there. Got the X under the leg, under the thigh. Uh, does uh, does Boudreaux? About a minute left here. Boudreaux in a good position. No, I like that position. That, oh, oh, no, but yeah. Marquez being very smart, very crafty, getting on top. Last minute of the round, cannot hold Boudreaux down. Looking for a Kimura is Marquez. Bails on that. Boudreaux still on that double leg. Could finish it and does. Into Marquez's butterfly guard. Marquez quickly throwing punches as he should. Yep, yep. I, I, and again, that's I don't like butterfly and rubber guard at the same time, one or the other. Yeah, for sure. And that was again, that was uh, Boudreaux showing a little bit of his um, amateur, amateur, uh, amateurity, amateurity by uh, by jumping into the, those butterflies as opposed to. Working around working one of them. Way, working around one of them. Or both, yeah. But finishing the round in a great place here is Boudreaux. Much better than he finished round one in the uh, half guard with the underhook. Couple shots just for looks. And round number two is in the books. How you like that freestyle there? For sure, Blake. Round number three underway. With the Toast of Heroes. Toast a Hero round number three. That's what I'm calling that from now on when they smack hands before the fight. Good. Oh, perfect. Toasting a hero. Once again, as they circle do, let me say thank you not only to Thug Life Vodka, but also to the Imaging Centers, Affiliated Healthcare Centers. Um, of course, longstanding gear sponsor, uh, Phoenix Fight Gear, turning out the XFN gloves, the shin guards. Nice high kick Beautiful from Marquez. Kick. Speaking of shin guards, put them to good juice right there. Uh, Uncocker Promotions, and of course, uh, Daniel Sagev, the uh, law group sponsoring us here. Um, the non-surgical uh, Institute of Non-Surgical Orthopedics and uh, Back Saver LLC, Dr. Christopher White and Audubon Leasing. Looking for a car lease in South Florida? Audubon Leasing's got your back. Um, a little low on the action, and I guess they've earned it. Yeah, Wig sure. Wiggly arms are nice, straight nice, left from Marquez. Marquez. Boy, howdy, he should do that more. Yeah, it's, it, we've been talking about his range. He needs to you go ahead and use that. Not let Boudreau come inside. Pop that. Nice backhand. Yeah, he's got he's got a pop. He's calling him out. Getting a little karate out there. 
And I don't just mean tonight. I mean, if you're listening in the future on this replay, John Marquez, that left hand was uh, is a good weapon for you, my friend. Don't be scared of that. That thing is nice. Nice uppercut three and a jab on the reset. And punching his way in with half a round left is Iron Trent Boudreau. Uh, on a single leg, Marquez got the, uh, got the wizard looking for the pry bar on the underhook. Good, good yeah. cage positioning. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for Trent get to get that underneath head up. It. Now it's gonna be a little better to get to that body lock takedown. Yeah. He wants it. It's gonna be hard to get under his hip, under yeah. Marquez's hips for sure. Even though they're high, yeah, it's hard to get his level low enough. Nice little shot there. Needs to use the double unders maybe to go ahead and turn this into something different. But uh, I don't know that tie clinch in the round number one was something to think about if you start engaging in a clinch game. Pujo lets him off the fence. Marquez feeling it. Drunken boxing from Marquez. Is that uh, he could? Is he tired? Is he is he trying to mask his, uh, his exhaustion? Or is he shouting oh. out Thug Life Vodka with the drunken boxing or style? Is he, or is he feeling it? He is taking some deep breaths there, Blake. Yeah. Nice slip of the jab and jab from Boudreaux. Nice backhand. The nice spinning back fist though. Marquez is showing um, showing that he ain't no joke. And at eight and five. Um, you gotta wonder how much longer he's going to keep doing this for free. Honestly, th I have seen a really big improvement out of him. Yeah, it's, it's amazing what happens when you get around a group of like-minded individuals at a camp like the Black Zillions. Yeah. This Boudreaux off the cage throws a big right hand, eats a big left hand, and they're gonna trade for the last 10 seconds or no? No, they are not. A spinning glove touch Eric, attempt from Marquez. Great fight. Your winner, split. Via split decision in the red corner. And, and still Trent Boudreaux, but amateur, John Marquez with a considering, considering. No such thing as an excuse in this game, and Marquez will make none for you.